What a bop. Click here to start. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't know. Are these two together or what? Okay. All sorts of outcomes here. Hey, where's Zoe? <laughs> Oh, she's right there. Is this the end of the game? What is going on? I guess it's not quite over yet. Three days later, okay. The police get their power from the US Constitution, but around here, they act like it comes from God. Your name's Jay, right? Correct. Yes, sir. Well, Jay, I'm Lawrence Bradley with the FBI. I heard you got a little roughed up during the arrest. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm good, sir. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> don't thank me yet. Technically speaking, you have no obligation to talk to me, but son... I've been doing this job for 38 years. See more shit than a porta potty, and I know I'm just gonna come clean when I see one. What I see right now is a scared teenager who got himself mixed up in something he shouldn't have. Yep, I agree. So just help me understand how you got so caught up in all of this, and uh, we'll get you back home where you belong. Uh, I think that's a fib. Don't I get a lawyer? I'm just gonna say, can you really help? Play the dumb kid card. Can you really get me out of here? If I can't, no one can. So your family somehow gets the code to the sheriff's safe. You try to rob him, end up at the Desert Dream. Your brother Tyler says, this place is cool, let's hide out for a while. When did you realize things weren't going to work out so good for you there? Uh, when the bus rammed us, when the sheriff arrived, uh, when we got there. From the start, I guess. Ma said home by dinner, you know? So you knew it was wrong, but you still stuck around. What else was I gonna do? Walk out the door. Call 911. We were together. I couldn't just leave. Okay. I understand. He's just a kid. Hmm, a nice... Bit of you water. Water your plants more. Not my plants. You're right. I didn't even notice. So let's talk about what happened after the motel. You've been through the ringer at this point. Your brother Dale's been killed, so you flee into the forest until I show up uh, with the local police. Then you abandon your family and run for it. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Why'd you do that? Why'd you run? Afraid to get caught. I hate my brother. No more violence. I was just so tired of seeing people get hurt. Seeing them hurt? Or hurting them? Seeing. Both. I don't know, did he hurt anybody? <laughs> My son's a linebacker. Got himself a full ride to ASU. <laughs> Do you like football? Not really. Well, he does. He's out there pursuing his dreams. That's what I want for you too, son. But here's the problem. Forensics has you at the sheriff's house. Witnesses yeah. have you at the motel. Yep. To True. Get a deal, a, a way out. You need to give up something the DA doesn't already know. And there's only one thing big enough, and that's who made you do what you did that night. See... We had a lot of bodies inside that motel. Four police officers dead at the scene. Another two on life support. And you weren't just a witness. You were part of it. It's true. So tell me, who put you up to it? 
Tyler? Nobody? I didn't do it? It was Tyler. Tyler. He gave the orders. I just did what he said. <laughs> Make a note. Suspect has confessed to multiple murders at the Desert Dream Motel. No. Wait. That's not what I... You can discuss the finer points with the judge. You said... You said you'd help me. I am helping you. You're gonna feel a lot better now. What about pursuing my dreams? Like your son. That isn't my son. This isn't even my office. Yeah, I was gonna say, that's not his office. This guy's a bit of a bastard, I gotta say. That wasn't the coolest thing I ever saw someone do. Really, I'm gonna pick the lock here? Dale said it should be. Is this cop really being a bastard to me or what? Holy shit. All right, round two. Hey, you want a sub? I'm heading over the road. Oh, uh, maybe. What good? I usually go for the barbecue chicken. That sounds just fine. That's what hold the onion. I don't know if I should be running from here or what, but I'm going to. What the? Son of a bitch! Lock down the station! Next day. Thanks again for the ride. Remember, son, Jesus loves even the wayward. So what am I doing now? I was too trusting of the cop. Oh, I have her phone number. On the hunt for an 18 year old male wanted in connection to multiple murders at the Desert Green Motel in Arizona. According to inside sources, the district attorney has placed the two in the death penalty. Why? <laughs> That's very weird. What's she gonna do to help me? Is this a collect call? Yes. Please state your name. Uh, should I say Dean or your study partner? I'll say your stu I'll say your study partner. Tell her it's our study partner. Hello. I have a collect call from. Study partner? Um, I I don't have a. Oh my god! Uh, yes, I accept. Yeah, let's just hide out in the city. That's Definitely no cops there. Call. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Ooh, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? I'm wanted by the cops, baby. The cops. They think I did something. I didn't, but... What do they think you did? There was this burglary, and I was there. I was part of it. But I swear, I, I didn't want to be. I got dragged in, and now they think... Uh... It's okay, Dean. I believe you. You do? I have good instincts. You're not that kind of person. Well, my name's Jay. Things have been shitty here, too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for, like, half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? 
Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh, the Sabrina Hotel? The old okay. Sabrina Hotel. I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. Uh-oh. We're wrecking this chick's life. It's not safe. Don't do it. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me. Seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. I don't think that works. Well, maybe in the 90s you could book a room and be like, I'm here for the room. Usually you can't do that. The trailer park? Meanwhile, whose trailer is this? Two Rock, Arizona. Luxurious. Oh, a kitty cat. Oh, it's this guy. He's boozing. I know, Marlon. Two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. What's got you so... Is there someone in my trailer? <gasps> Hello? Who, who's there? Who's there? Yeah, who is there? Oh my god, is that, uh... How did she get out? No! Uh, oh, god. Sharon. S -s sorry, sorry. You, you can... Uh... Jesus, I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? You broke in to my home. You left the window open. Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost Tyler. Jay abandoned us. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower, have a... Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! Yeah, Sharon, get the fuck out of here. <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons. <sighs> what we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost a home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. Home, the cops, Mexico? I don't care! Don't ask me. The, the less I know, the better. Please. I've run out of options. Yeah, too fucking bad. I, I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. <laughs> Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. That's too bad for you, I guess. Bullshit. It's always the same with you. Give Paul a sob story till you get what you want. Well, I'm done. Agree. Sob story? You think I do this to myself? Paul, stand strong, Paul. 
Sharon, you're all over the news. Tyler, I heard they arrested him. He took a stand so I could take a chance. He's the only reason I got away. They'll try to break him, but he won't give him the satisfaction. He knows what those sons of bitches did to Dale. My beautiful baby. All his life, they had it in for him. What if he wasn't a criminal? <laughs> Sorry. But, Jay, at least he got away, right? Oh, you don't know. Jay escaped from custody, somehow. They're looking everywhere. Jay? My Jay! Oh, God. Please let him be okay. Please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was gonna expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were gonna do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? Uh, no. Obviously not. That's my business, bitch. I don't go poking around in other people's lives, and neither should you. How I live is my business. If it makes you happy. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. Oh, damn! You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Oh, fuck you, Sharon. Wasn't meant to be, bitch. It wouldn't have worked. Don't be so sure. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's Whoa. City, that was... If, if I'd known what would... How did oh, he get Dante's Jesus, code? I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? Okay, so, like... Now what the fuck do I do? No, fuck you. You're not getting me drunk. Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. Look, nobody knows your part in this. And I swear, it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this. Yeah, right. I need your help. You're blackmailing me? Or what? You're gonna tell the cops? No. I wouldn't betray a friend. I mean, sure. You could end up in jail because of all this. And so could I. You're definitely gonna end up in jail, Sharon. For both of us. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> The cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but you then we expose dante for what he is karma payback call it what you like and by the time his world crumbles we'll be long gone why don't i just take this book and kick you to the curb look you say us being together wasn't meant to be but 
I say this is our chance to change that. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion, or we can live together in paradise. You do realize if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me. Holy, reject or kiss. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rejected. Please, Paul, just listen to me. I've listened, but the answer is no. I can't do it. Expecting anyone? No. Hey, cuz, it's me. Open up. Dante's alive? It's Dante. I thought Dante drowned in the toilet. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Nice disguise. Hey, cool outfit. Uh, yeah, right. I was so busy packing for the road that I forgot what I was wearing. Can I come in? Uh -huh. <sighs> it's your room. I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund. I also brought you a change of clothes. And tomorrow morning, I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. Oh, very good. You're really kind. You might be the nicest person I ever met. I promise. I'm not that nice. Then why are you helping me? Look, if someone accused me of something I didn't do, my brother would have been right there in my corner. But when he was in trouble, I couldn't help him. So, if I can help you somehow... Okay. What's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come... I'd have nobody now. Can you go to your family? To your mom, maybe? Nope. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. She's my aunt. My She's my aunt? Was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. My name's Jay. I feel lost. They betrayed me. I can't process it. I feel lost. I just don't even know who I am anymore. I wish they hadn't told me. Except then, you'd be living a lie. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people <laughs> you me. choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. <gasps> That's not your room. Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh. Oh my god. How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that you need to book for this room. Now, open the door or I'm calling the police. Okay. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you... You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What oh, God. This is not good. It's none of your business. What are you <laughs> Is it meth? Ketamine? <laughs> Yeet! <sighs> Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life. Lying all the time. Until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue. Oh, sure. Let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning. With enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No. I'm not doing this. 
You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Ugh. Do what you have to. Tell us a window in the bathroom. You. Who? You eat. <laughs> Big time Yeetus right there. Vanessa, you're making a huge mistake. Get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Dale showed me once. Dad's like a pimp. You can just jump down there like a mad eater. This is different, but I think it's these ones. <laughs> Ooh, I barely did it. Drive! I'm gonna get her killed. Do up your seatbelts. Do up your seatbelts. Vanessa! It can't be. gonna sound crazy but I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive um it's not crazy baby it's the truth Thanks for taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. Uh, we gotta be careful. I'm wanted for murder. Your dad's gonna be looking for you. He didn't see the car. And it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? <laughs> I can fish, hike, live in the forest. The only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a That's potato a of a state. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from a payphone. Oh. Could you hand me my cigarettes? Uh, cigarettes? Smoking is bad for you. I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. Uh, I can believe it. He's worried. He 
must care about you if he came all this way. No. He wants to be in control. <coughs> he thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did. Do you? <laughs> I'm doing this, aren't I? Uh, yeah. I'll tell you one thing. He must be flipping his fucking lid right now. His little girl stealing a car. What's the worst thing you've ever done in your life? Let my pa die, the burglary, lie to a girl I like. Lie about myself? To someone I like? What was the lie? It doesn't matter. Who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me. I already did. Too late. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? No oh, notifications are coming through. I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. I haven't heard any of them. <laughs> it's in streamer mode. I said, open up. If he finds me, we're both fucked. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. Don't go in the bathroom. Be right there. Hurry up and stop playing with yourself. Oh, yeah. Hide her brazier. What else? Hide glasses? What else? What else? What else? Hey, waiting out here like a prick. Get your pants on. I'm coming in. Sorry. Hi. I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? Yeah. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... After what he's been through... Right. Got some of your stuff they say from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. And if I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any, uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Uh, I don't know. Take a vacation, no plans, maybe a bank heist, find a new job. I'll take a vacation. Might take a, take a trip. See the world. Live a little, you know? Yeah, live a little, huh? <laughs> well, if I weren't in the middle of this shit storm from hell, I'd be on the next Greyhound behind you. Yeah. Oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, oh boy, me will be in the doghouse, huh? Oh, fuck. Goddamn bullet wound. <laughs> well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, bet we could both use a coffee, right? Mm -hmm. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Everyone in this show sucks. This show. This game. Yeah. Back then, I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Forgot the cigarette, but when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Uh -huh. The 
Cuz, talking to you. you. You knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. Fair, fair. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah. Oh. Guess not. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. Was I? You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about uh, about the motel and all that stuff with uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't. Uh huh. And what was your professional opinion? Uh, you ended the standoff. I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. I don't know about that, but okay. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. And what did I get for it? Getting shot in the shoulder. Electrocuted after death. Yeah, what did uh now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. What happened with him and attacking the guy? What did he I say? Got FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Yeah, I'll do my best by her, but I guess it'll never be enough. What a week. Hmm. But Sharon... Uh, she'll get what's coming to her. Whatever rock she's crawled under, I'll find her. So help me God. Can't hide forever. You're right. Her luck will run out someday. No, oh, you bet. Past always catches up with you, one way or another. Man, and here I thought the game was over. Hey, you know we had history, right? Back when I was a deputy. Wanted me to leave Becky for her. <laughs> of course, she was much better looking back then. That's so. Because I always thought it was the other way around. That you wanted her to leave Bear. <laughs> no, you got your wires all crossed there, Paul. That bitch. <laughs> Crazy as shit. Sharon. I've done some bullets in my time, cousin, but <laughs> that one. Mm. Uh, yeah. No, you're not murdering my cousin. Behind you! Look out! Sharon, you fucking stupid bitch. <sighs> you dumb, stupid, gullible fool. Drop the scissors. I am not going to jail. I'm not. You're just gonna have to kill me. Don't think I won't do this, Sharon. I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. Oh! I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money. Paul, how could you do this to me? You deserve it? You can keep the book? Yeah, fuck it. I don't want the book. She'll give you the book. Let us go. We, we won't tell no one about the money. What? Paul, it ain't over yet. We can make it. 
You will never get this book. I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. I'll keep the gun, thank you. After Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. If you listen to him, you're a fool. He'll put us both away. Oh my god, who do I want to who, who do I want to help here? Sharon will probably kill Dante. Dante will kill Sharon. Dante might kill What's his name here? Joe. I think I think I got to help Sharon here. I think that's the play, right? I don't think we can trust Dante, because what's Dante going to do? Kill Sharon? Then he probably has to kill Joe. I don't think Sharon will kill Dante. I gotta go against you, Bobby. I gotta help Sharon. I gotta help Sharon. Okay. There we go. Sorry, Dante. Hurry! I know! Yeah, grab the cat. We gotta go before oh, Dante pulls out his gun. Way. Stop the engine. Oh fuck. Drive. Just do it, Paul. Step on it. Oh my oh, god. Shit. Oh, I had no choice. I hear an ambulance hey, or a siren. Your whole boy turned up in Utah with some girl in tow. FBI you're in pursuit. Out. Later that night, Idaho Falls. Oh, we're at a party. <laughs> this shirt. You sure we fit in? Well, it's all we could find. Gwen Stefani. <laughs> Excuse me, have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. Todd was pissed when his parents wanted him to die to home. But his dad had family here and they have all kinds of money, so... This isn't good. There's too many people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? No, don't do it. Oh, uh, fuck. Tr choose carefully. <laughs> <coughs> should I take the pill or should I refuse? <laughs> I mean, it seems like Jay was always like, I don't want to do drugs all the time with his brothers. But he's with this girl, and she's just popped a fucking pill, so... Take the pill! We're gonna be rolling. Now what? Now we wait for Todd. Alright, let's wait for Todd.
my god, there's so many of J's everywhere. Oh, nice camo pants. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? I don't know. Dang, I feel so good right now. Like a feather with legs. Here. See? Do it to me. All right. Maybe I should go prevent her from being assaulted in the bathroom. No, that's not Zoe. I'm tripping balls, sir. Flashbacks, no, uh, dang, flashbacks. How'd they get such a nice picture of Jay? person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. Wait outside. Look, will you help me or not? What will you give me for it? Oh, man. You are so freaking tall from down here. What are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? I'm her friend. We go to school together in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo fucking do. Now get out of my room or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. Oh, she's just got Please. me bug eyes. She's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but it's what she wants. Be a good sport. Can't win them all. Uh, I'll hit him. She's under the influence. Shazam! gonna grab a bottle now I'm not Dean, gonna hit him with a bottle it's time to go you're one jealous fuck well guess what she was mine first I'm gonna leave him he's not worth the bottling that's right 
Walk away, fucking pussy. Are you crazy? Starting a fight with him? It was stupid. I agree. I know it was stupid. I just got so angry. He could have put you in the hospital. <sighs> Why did you tell me he was your brother's friend? Because I thought you'd get upset if you knew I'd gone out with him for a while. Apparently, I was right. He could have helped you if you trusted me. We should go find somewhere to sleep before the cops come. But tomorrow, we're done. That's fine. Crazy. I'm gonna find somewhere to camp. Don't follow me. Wait, we shouldn't go too far from the car. Ugh. I wish, see, I like the game, but it'd be nice if I could tell her the reason why I punched him. It wasn't because I was jealous or anything like that. It was because she's under the influence. That house you robbed, was that all it was? A burglary? Eh, fuck it, come clean. Life's over anyways. Look, I need to tell you something. That's fine. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And it wasn't just any house. It was Sheriff Romero's. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, Got holed up at this motel on Route 66. You're one of them. The family from the news. Yep. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. People died in that motel. Not because of me. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. It's best if you go. Maybe you're right. Maybe you should go. Because what I'm doing, crossing the border illegally and all, it could be dangerous. Ugh. There you go again. Acting like I need protection. That's not it. Yeah, Just, that's not it. I can't face seeing you get hurt. <sighs> a little late for that. I told Tomorrow you not to come. Drop me at a gas station. You know, my dad's gonna kill me, but I'll deal with it. I told you not First to come. First you lied to me. Now you're going off without me. You're more like your family than you realize. Ooh. Damn. I'm ready to let go, baby. I'm not like them. Maybe I never was. If you say so. I'm sorry, Vanessa. I really am. Yeah. Me too. It's okay. It was never meant to be. Another achievement sound. I do not understand. Consider him armed and dangerous. I do not understand. Miss Fuck it. Turn myself in. Turn myself in. Group summary. Seeks calm and avoids confrontation. Trait. Brave. Faces danger with courage. I'm a quick thinker, as usual. Alright, let's check this out. 26% interrogated by Agent Bradley. How could you not be interrogated? 19% confessed. 
25 escaped the station quietly, so apparently you can do it, like, loudly, I guess. 83% escaped unseen. 36% took drugs. 36% punched Todd. 35% won the fight and walked away. 51% told truth. Wow, okay. Said goodbye to Vanessa. Alright. Let's see what was going on with Sharon down here. Paul, 65% stayed sober. 42% rejected Sharon. 88% hid two pieces of evidence, so I missed the third one. Dante was oblivious. I warned Dante. Only 23% warned Dante. 66% helped Sharon. 61 hit him with the coffee jug. And 61% escaped with Sharon. Okay. Interesting. A lot of stuff I haven't seen yet. 